G'day gamers, Vader G here, welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to take a look at Scarlet Spider. Now Scarlet Spider is the bio selector character in this update. Uh, I did quickly validate that yesterday, let's just see. Pretty sure I have some bio selectors in here. And we should be able to see, there he is, first cab off the rank, Scarlet Spider. So very cool, We lots of people have a, a free, mega, uh, free tier 2 ticket. Uh, in their inventory, I know I did, I can't remember what it was from, actually some sort of event. So he's going to be getting it. Now, what's he like? He, he doesn't look much, right? He, I mean, he looks, pretty, he looks pretty cool, but he doesn't look like he's like a standout character. He doesn't look anything like that. Being a bio selector, selector character, how good actually is he? So we're going to drill down into that um, in, in this video. We're going to try him out in uh, Proxima. We're going to try it level 55 World Boss Ultimate. And without giving away too many spoilers, man, he is a DPS powerhouse. Got to keep on watching. Okay, before we get into that, one other sort of uh, change that I haven't mentioned uh, to date is with, well, I have mentioned it, but Danger Room Extreme. Um, but one of the things I didn't realize is daily entry. So now we're going to get a daily entry reward. And within there, it looks like there is some premium characters in there. So we see Abomination, Professor X, um, Nigga Sonic, Rachel Summers, uh, and then the sort of semi-premium uh, characters. Well, they're still premium. Gambit, uh, Colossus, um, Weapon Hex, and Magic. So that looks like a pretty cool change. And it looks like we got five daily entries that we can get. So potential, I don't know if it's, you get one bio for each time. Or if it's five, I don't really know. But I think that's pretty cool. Looks like they've increased the rewards. Anyway, enough banging on about that. Back to the back to the main event. This guy, Scarlet Spider. Okay, so a free-to-play character, and you kind of think, well, okay, how good is he actually going to be? Well, I've kitted him up. Um, what have I got him? Oh, so he's only rank 17. But I've kitted him up. I've put a CTP of energy on him. I think that that's kind of going to be the the kind of obelisk that uh, you're going to want with him. Uh, I don't. This is a, these sort of characters. I know everyone will probably test them with CTP of rage. These sort of characters, you're not going to give them CTP of rage. CTP of energy, CTP of destruction. That's kind of where they sort of fall. Now you'll notice with his native dodge stat, he doesn't really have a native do, native dodge stat. So unlike Spider Man, who has a very high uh, natural dodge, he doesn't really have that. He also has kind of low defenses. Now the good part is he has. Quite high attack, but it really scales well through his skills. Now we got him set up here, obviously with some Odin's blessings, and that's just to help cap those stats. Um, the stats that we have in the test server are a little bit lower because we don't have level 30 alliance, and as a result, we try and put some Odin's blessings on to try and get those stats. Now he doesn't have a uniform either, so getting his stats probably to that level that I have it in the even in the normal server is going to be a real struggle. Um, we'll have a quick look through his skills in a minute. Also, I said got Power of Angry Hulk, custom gear, as I said, CTP of energy, uh, with some pretty decent crit damage level on that as well. So let's have a quick look at his skill effects. And I've got to be honest, through the run, I did not use the one skill once. Um, I did not use it. So his passive, uh, increased damage dealt to superhero type characters and supervillain by 40. Um, so this applies to allies with spice pens. That's a pretty cool passive, actually. I like the theme of that. His second skill has a web, and it also sort of flicks backwards and forwards over the top. Uh, third skill, uh, we have a counter-attack on it, and I have to admit, it doesn't do a huge amount of damage to the counter-attack. But the other, what it does actually have on it is damage accumulation, and damage ac accumulation dealt to enemy regardless of defense and dodge rate. Um, his four skill, he kind of throws these uh, landmines and then goes into an attack. Uh, it has ignore defense on it, uh, up to 50%, and it chains really nicely with the fifth skill with the CTP of energy if you're good enough to get the proc and if you're good enough to stay alive. Because, like I said, he has kind of low defense. Um, I'll kind of show you, we'll have a quick look at sort of skills I was using uh, when I'm doing the run. So, I'm kind of trying to use the three skill, and if, if they attack when he uses a three skill, well, well, let's just make him attack. Sorry, get out of that. Yep. So if they attack him when he's using the three skill, he goes into that move. The move in itself, I found, doesn't really do a huge amount of damage. 
So I tried it a few times in that run, you'll, you'll see it. I think I only pulled it off a couple of times where it actually worked. But if you do, oh, sorry. If you do three and then four, you can cancel the four. The tank and those bombs still go off. And I found that to be quite effective. With the actual style of play, we're kind of doing more of a sniping type. Lots of kiting, not too much face tanking. Uh, occasionally I'll throw the two skill in after doing that three cancel, four cancel, five combination. Uh, with the chain hit damage, it kind of all chains together quite nice. Well, we for forgot to have a look at the two skill. Let's go back in, have a real quick look at that now. And then I'll show you the run. So that's the two skill. He's kind of in iframe a fair bit through that. Has a bit of a web at the end. It kind of lets him run away just a little bit, just there, if you sort of like, sort of come back from the attack area. Um, I found that it has some evasion. Now, if you don't evade uh, at all with Proxima, he will, he will die pretty quickly. And it took me quite a few attempts to try and figure out the rotation that worked best for me. Now, I'm not saying it's the best rotation. There might be a rotation where he can just be in full iframe and just face tanker. Uh, if that's the case, good on whoever finds that. I mean, I've had half hour, but it still has taken me quite a few goes and quite a few deaths, quite a few fatalities to Scarlet Spider to try and to, to try and figure out how I should play him. But definitely a sniping approach worked for me. Um, the team that we're going to use is... Where are we? World Boss. We're going to use this team. We're going to use uh, Nick Fury lead. We're going to take Shuri because she has a bit of uh, additional defense. Uh, and obviously Scarlet Spider. Um, we're going to just use these couple of strikers here. So I'm taking in uh, Venom for the heal. Just taking in these guys. They, they do nothing really with their striking skills. I'm just taking them in because they decrease damage received from supervillain types by 10%. Alright, so that's why they're there. They're not there to deal extra damage and they really don't deal extra damage. They're just there to help me kind of survive. So take a look at the run. Look, he's, he's surprising. I'm really looking forward to setting him up. And I'm actually thinking CTP of Destruction might work really well for him. Um, that's just my opinion. Or, you know, I think maybe even a dodge crit damage um, 200%. I think that, that would work something work well as well. Something with dodge on it would be really nice. Uh, immune to guard break is nice, obviously, as well. But guys, check him out. I think you'll be really, really stoked with this character. And uh, let me know what you think.